Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and right now we're in the state of Washington. We're currently in the city of Seattle. We're going to be doing a part two drive through of Aurora Ave over here in Seattle. It is the open fish market, women for hire. We're passing the 301 bus stop on my right hand side. We just came from 185th. We're on 185th, probably approaching 184th in Aurora right now. We're going to go down in descending numbers to see if we see any activity. The rules are we're going to continue moving forward until we see any aquatic sea life walking the sidewalks. And if we do, then we'll spin the block and try to give you guys a better look. I know this is a touchy, controversial subject to others. It might excite some. It might turn others' stomachs. I do apologize, but this is the harsh reality of our world. So... Let's see what we got that lies ahead. We're at 175th. Wow, we jumped from 185 to 175th. Amazing. Aurora Ave North. You got a Shell gas station on my right-hand side. Regular gasoline is $5.49 per gallon. On my left, you got Key Bank. You got Aurora Rents. And on my right, the Sultan Gyro and Shamara Grill. Let's continue moving forward. We got a Subaru on my right-hand side. Check it out, I got car dealerships, sports chiropractor on my left. Looks like we got living apartments on my left. Plaza Latina on our left, a Chevrolet dealer on our right, Kia on our right, Cash America on our left, Cube Smart on our left. We're approaching 170th Street. 170th. You got the bus stop on my right. People waiting for the bus. There was a spot that was called Black Coffee. We just passed it. We got man's welding trailer hitches on our right evergreen rv on our left we're passing a u-haul location on our right and a motel on our left hand side we're now at 165th boy we are descending rapidly <laughs> all right we're in the center lane the far lane to the right appears to be the turning lane turning only so you can't rock out in the whole lane ideally i would prefer to rock out in that whole lane because it's the slowest lane but I gotta rock out in the middle. All right, we're passing 160th Street, which is College Way. Chevron gas station on my left hand side, $4.99 per gallon of regular gasoline, or in some countries, what you guys would call Petro. We're passing 155th, 55. Five. Got Safeway on my left hand side. Joanne, Sherman Williams, Whistle Worker, Old Village, and more. You got the Pho Ha Street Food restaurant on my right hand side, which is Vietnamese food. You got paint protection on my right hand side. Midnight window tint. Star detail, a reflection of quality. Paint protection vehicle wraps. So for those of you guys who don't know what paint protection vehicle wraps are, it's like a wrap, like a vinyl wrap, and it does what it says, paint protection. You know, rather than receiving little chips and you know scrapes and abrasions on the clear coat of your paint job and ruining your paint job, the sun fade and so on, you can get one of those wraps um, they have ones where you can completely put an opaque color on it, just change the color. Or I believe they have like a, like an enamel, like it's just a clear coat. So it, it looks shiny and it looks like your exact identical color of your car, but it's actually a thin layer of plastic, which is supposed to ideally protect the paint job. All right, guys, so we're passing 149th. Seattle restaurant store on our left. America's Inn and Suites on our right. Some motels down the avenue, magic cleaners, teriyaki advertised for $5.99. You got Pho Tic Tac on my right hand side, a business called Pho Tic Tac, which is a Vietnamese cuisine restaurant. We're going to continue moving forward. 
passing Boost Mobile. We passed JE Wheels, Amazon, a plumbing business on our left, a jogger on our right. You got Enterprise car sales on our right. I guess they sell the cars that are no longer being rented. You know, probably high mileage vehicles. Wow, it looks like there's a car that crashed right there. I don't know what's up with that, but it was up on the sidewalk and the bumper was hanging off. Passing 141st and Aurora. We got a gentleman right here that appears to be near the street with a wheelchair. We're at 140th. Yeah, look at him. He's moving backwards. I don't understand why he's in the street. It's probably not the safest place to be. From here, you can see the skyline of Seattle from afar. If you squint, you turn your head sideways, you smack the back of your head, say nah. <laughs> you ain't got to do all that. You can just screenshot it and zoom in if you're on a mobile device. Or if you're on the TV, then you probably got a good idea what I was talking about. You got Office Depot on my right-hand side. Carpet liquidators. Karastan carpet in stock. Got a stun. Friendship food on our left-hand side. Another Asian business. You got the Aurora corner on our left-hand side. Gustad Law Group. Gojo Ethiopian restaurant. Addie's Market, which looks like a Jamaican-themed uh, market. Passing 135th. 135th. Lee's Automotive Collision on our right. Wells Fargo on our right. LA Fitness on our left. T-Mobile on our left. Aurora Donuts on our right. Key Bank on our right. Hobby Lobby on our left. Asian Family on our left. Yo, when I first heard of Hobby Lobby, I ain't never really hear Hobby Lobbies. No, BS. I, I, I think I seen them a couple years ago in um, the Jersey area. But I ain't never really going one. And I always, I always thought that it was like a, like a hobby store in the sense like, you know, like, um, what's this young woman up to is she just she's waving at cars bet you see her she's waving at the cars bro she on shift damn son she she on shift she waved at the car so normally that's the sign like hi then you wave back hi park up boom and she walks over boom and you're like quanto 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 for those of you guys who don't know what quanto means quanto means how much how much how much And then she'd be like, uno cuarenta. <laughs> if you don't know what uno cuarenta means, that means 140. Uno means one. Cuarenta means 40. And who said I didn't know Spanish? <laughs> I know elementary school Spanish. Why does everyone learn the bad Spanish words first, right? I swear, people that don't even know Spanish probably know the bad Spanish words. <laughs> Yo, am I allowed to curse in Spanish without people getting offended? Like, can I like can I say Spanish curse words <laughs> and 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 it not be flagged? Nah, let me chill. Let me let me chill. Cause I, cause I would like to teach some of my some of my supportive viewers some Espanol words. But nah, nah, nah. Let me <laughs> let me chill. Y'all could Google some words. Just Google it. Google Translate. Type whatever naughty word you got in your mind, and it'll translate it for you. We're passing one hundred and thirtieth. So that female back there that waved, she was past 130. Wow, she was past 130. If most of them we saw was like from 125 to like 90, I think. 125 to 90 thus far. It's a Friday. It's a lot of traffic as you guys can see. It's about to be, it feels like it's about to be a cool 60 degrees, but for real, for real, it's probably going to drop soon. It's about 58 right now. The weather keeps fluctuating. The sun's going to be setting within the next few hours. You got the lotus pond on my left-hand side. And again, Vietnamese cuisine. Wow. A lot of Vietnamese restaurants on this avenue, yo. Ah, uh, they had a um, Q45. Was it a Q45? Yeah, my homie had a G30 and a Q45. Q45s were... Made by Infinity. My homie in high school, he used to love Infinities. He had like three, four Infinities. I'm not a big fan of Infinities, but he loved it. Look at that Enduro uh, Supermoto on my left. It's like an Enduro uh, street dirt bike, street legal. We're at 127th Street and Aurora Ave. Yeah, I didn't spin the block for that female that waved just because that block was an extremely wide block. I should say long. I don't think wide makes sense. Wide is left to right longest length so that was an extremely long block i would have spun the block and yeah 
You got Firestone on my right. You got a gigantic billboard on my left hand side. You see that billboard? Seattle. I mean, I'm sorry. I said Seattle. You, <laughs> you heard Seattle. Because I was trying to say Seattle and recreational <laughs> at the same time. Yo, I can't count how many tours. I'll be combining them words. You got to have a whole tune dictionary for all my homemade words. Seattle 9724 Aurora Ave. North. North. Let me make sure I put the TH. Not North with an F. <laughs> Somebody said that. North. They said North. N O R F. Huh, Tune? Green Side Recreational. 1.5 miles south on Aurora Ave. 21 or older. And you can purchase your Get High. You got Siam Bistro. Thai food on my left hand side. You got Lowe's on my right hand side. Home Improvement Warehouse. You got Jack in a Box on my right hand side. It advertises the juiciest, butteriest, craviest. That's it. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything else. But I guess it's trying to, you know, tease you with all those adjectives. Yo, what's that person doing on my right? <gasps> Yo, that's dope. That person on my right that's sitting at the bus stop is on FaceTime with someone and they're uh, speaking sign language. <gasps> that's trippy, bro. I never, I never. But that's cool. That, you know why that's dope? Because they can use the phone and actually talk to someone. Not have to talk. Because, you know, if you just use a regular telephone, you can't really vocalize because you can't talk. But because you got FaceTime, y'all could talk sign language to each other. Yo, that's trippy. That's the first time in my life that I ever even thought of that. All right. It looks like we may have some potential staff members out here working the shift on Aurora, which is the historic Route 99. She has on, what is that? Is that a sundress? She has on some sort of sundress? Now, I don't want to prejudge, but... It's going quite high above the thighs. She's pulling it down because as she walks, it continues to rise. Ew, that rhymed. I'm a rapper. Flavor, flave. Oh, there's another one across the street. Oh, another one, a brand new one out here on shift, y'all. Across the street. Can y'all see her? Yeah, y'all can see her. You see her over there on the left-hand side? See her strolling along on my left? And then there's one on my right. Yeah, she, she got see-through shirt on my left. On my right. I'm going to spin the block. I'm going to spin the block. Oh, there's more up there. Oh, snap, it's about to get popping. Look at this one right here. Yo, she got the whole nine, bro. Check her out. Look at this dude right right, right behind us here. <laughs> See this dude? He got the Reebok uh, book bag. Some cool tats. I get curious on how many locals participate in the activities out here. <laughs> like, you know... I'm about to just come through here. Like, it makes it a lot easier. Just go through lows rather than going around the block. Cause some of these blocks are really long. By the time you get around the block, up, oh, they're off the shift. <laughs> or they've already been abducted. All right, we're in Lowe's on our left-hand side. We have the garden center on our right-hand side. We have the shopping cart return. Remember, cart narcs. You heard what Sebastian said? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Skinny, whoop, 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 whoop. You better park your cart. If not, he gonna slap a bumper sticker. <laughs> One of them bumper magnets on your whip. On your whip. Caution speed bump. This ain't no speed bump. This is like a speed sidewalk. They just basically built a sidewalk and gave it a ramp. Dang. I'm going to try to strategically arrive out here. Oh, look at this chick right here on my right talking to somebody. Hold up. She 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 had it too. She tatted it up. There's two of them. There's another one on my right hand side. Y'all, hold on, hold on. Let's bang this right. Let's bang this right. Oh, this is the one that was across the street, y'all. Another one popped out on my left like a ninja. Bro, she had the longest eyelashes in the United States history of eyelashes. <laughs> she was going to cut you with her eyelash. You better watch it. Yo, that was crazy. Oh, man. So they hanging out in the parking lot of Lowe's. That's wild. Because think about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you coming out from buying some, like, sheetrock. You know, you just, you know, bought yourself some, like, you know, some paint. You know, do some modifications on your house. You could pick up some seafood while you're on the way home. And I'm going to make this right-hand turn. That's a lot of cars. We got the female with the bright red hair on my right hand side about to walk by. 
I don't know if she's going to walk in front of us or if she is going to go walk around us. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to allow this car in front of me to get to pass us because there's a lot of traffic on my left. I'm going to allow her to walk by us. Is she going to walk by? Three, two, boom. All right, let's make this right-hand turn. Somebody got to let me in. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So we don't need to cross the street because we already saw... You know, the female that was across the street come on, on this side. So we found out that they got a little hangout over here in Lowe's. Like, low-key, this is the spot. You got to come to 125th in Aurora. <laughs> 125th. Tell them two sent you. Be like, hey, yo, 2215 sent me, yo. Can I get a discount? They're probably not going to give you a discount, but it sounds really, really, really cool. It sounds like I'm somebody important, even though I'm really not. <laughs> uh, let's see who out here. Yo, it's crazy because a couple people just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, this is Shorty with the Red. Yeah, Shorty with the Red. She's been walking this strip for a, a little while now. Crazy. I wish I could give y'all the opposite view. I would like to give y'all the opposite view, the rear end view, but she's walking that way on this side of the street, so that's not really possible at the moment. She's been walking this strip for a good, a good amount of time, back and forth, back and forth. From what I hear, her attire is the style. <laughs> the see-through fishnet, like a dress with the G-string under it, showing all the goodies. I hear that's the style, like, you know, on beach fronts and stuff. I don't know how accurate that is, but yeah. All right, we're at 115th, 115th, 115th on Aurora Ave. Continue to move forward. You got the Evergreen with Shelly, I believe, cremation and funeral services on our right-hand side, which is connected to the cemetery. Wow. Working the beat right up the block from a cemetery. That puts life into perspective. On our left hand side, we got the Hanson Bros Moving and Storage Company. You got dog training classes on my right hand side. The business is called Fuzzy Buddy. We're passing 10th and Aurora. So, so far, I don't see anybody out. We'll take this to about 100th, maybe 90th at max. And if I don't see any activity, we're going to spin the block and just go back up the opposite end to see if anything changed on the opposite side. DD breaks on my left, under water sports on our right. Get what I ask. There's a business on our left hand side called Get What I ask. And you know what that means? What time is it? Get What I ask. Yeah, I know. Holla at me for your hooked on phonics Spanish classes. You already know. I have you hollering at all, all the mommies in Espanol. You be like, Mira. Get What I ask. Cuanto? Cuanto chavo tu quieres? Pa tu tiempo. Meaning, how much money do you want for your time? <laughs> Bird and Exotic Clinic on our right-hand side. Wow. Exotic Clinic. So it looks like they uh, service snakes, rabbits, ferrets. Uh, it looks like the toucans, you know, the really rainbow colorful birds that be on the box of cereal. Toucan Sam, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops be popping, right? Fruit Loops be popping. I bet. Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles? I'm sorry. I kind of like Fruit Fruity Pebbles, but I kind of like Fruit Loops. It's hard. It's hard to decide. I like Fruity Pebbles, though. I, I think I'm going to have to lean towards fruit, Fruity Pebbles if I had to. We're at 104th. Passing 103rd. Charlena Lyles on my right-hand side. That's a heck of a mural. It looks strange. Like an abstract version of a female's face. Unless that's how she really looked, and I do apologize. Passing 102nd. Wow, she's waving the same chick from part one. Bro, that's wild, chick. Like... Yo, she was on part one. If y'all didn't see part one of this, go watch part one. She came out in it. <laughs> and she's still out here, bro. She had actually got into a into a vehicle. I'm not going to spin the block because I didn't spun the block enough times. And yeah, but um, with her at least. And um, 
from the rearview mirror, I saw her go up to a truck. Well, in the video, we're passing 97th. We saw her walk up to a truck in the video, but from my rear view as I passed, I saw her get into the truck, right? We're passing 96. Oh, we got an older woman on my left. She looked like she in her cool 40s. She out here walking the beat in her 40s. Hold on, let's let's spin this block, baby. Let's make this this right. Yeah, she out here um putting in that work, trying to show these young girls <laughs> how the triple OGs do it. All right, let's continue moving forward. We're going to go around the block. Imagine if men did something like this. Could you imagine, like, if men did something? I don't think females would pay for that. How many females would pay for that? I don't know. Like, imagine a strip like that. Like, Figueroa or like Aurora, but with men. Not, you know, that I care, but I'm just saying, like, if the reverse happened, like, would the authorities press the situation more? Because you know how they don't like guys congregating on the corners because they call it soliciting and, you know, and all that stuff. They don't like, you know, groups of activity. But could you imagine going through a strip with, like, 40 men, you know, at different um, corners, and they got suits and, like, ties and, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're in 96 in Linden. I'm going to make this, right? We got a jogger right there, female jogger. She's jogging on the right block, the block, one block away from Aurora. <coughs> I do apologize for coughing. If I hurt your eardrum. We got a little tent. T-E-N-T, -E -N -T, tent. Gotta spell it out, because it sounds like I'm saying tint. Like a tinted window. Oh, she walked to this side of the street. Damn, thank you. You you helped me out, lady. Did you? Hold on, did you? No, she's she, she's still across the street. Matter of fact, I think y'all y'all gonna get a good view. Look, 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 look. Let's spin it, let's spin it. Go, 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 skirt, 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 skirt. And I gotta go without getting hit by a car. This car's coming. Go, go, chill without getting hit. Oh man, dude in the beamer messed it up. Yeah, dude in the beamer messed it up. I'ma spin the block again. <laughs> I'ma spin the block so y'all can get a, an actual look. Unless you pause it. Then you know you might not get the best experience, but let's go left and then go right and then go right and come right back around the block. Yeah, she looks like she could be in her cool, maybe late 30s, early to mid 40s. I don't know, I didn't get a good look, but from afar, that's what it appeared to be offhand. That's probably one of the oldest uh, employees I've seen out here. Let's make this right hand turn. I guess, would you call someone who's self-employed an employee? They're an employee of their own business, right? Nah, nah, they wouldn't be an employee, nah. Maybe. Unless they're employed under an entity that's protecting them, you know? Let's say, metaphorically speaking, Debo manages six girls. We're at 97th and Stone. Rest in peace to Debo. Rest in peace to, you know, Tiny. Um, but I do imagine that there's probably some that are managed and some that are probably like the lone warriors. Let's make this right. At 96. Not to be confused with Mulashi 96. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's an insider joke. So if you're watching this for the very first time in your life, you don't know who I am. You don't know how YouTube brought you here. You're wondering, what do I mean when I say that? You got to check out my page. You got to look, look at the Mulashi 96 video. You gotta learn about that uh, strange character. Let's make this right hand turn on Aurora app. All right, so we got this this woman right here. I'm all right. The dude in the BMW spinning the block. Oh, I thought he was spinning the block for her. All right, go ahead, walk a little forward. Thank you. You looking out, lady? Strut it, work it, work it, girl. She got fishnet stockings. The whole nine. All right, give me a second. There's a lot of traffic. So right now is the perfect excuse to slow down. <laughs> perfect excuse. So they got redheads, they got blondes, and they got brunettes. Pick your poison. Pick your flavor. Dear viewer, to you watching. Pick one, two, or three. Brunette, redhead, blind. Female, dear female watching. What color is your hair? Brunette, <laughs> redhead, or blind? 
Or what color would you like to dye your hair? Somebody gonna be like, tune, my hair purple. <laughs> We're passing 98th. To, to be honest, we did see a female today. She wasn't in this area. She was in downtown. She had uh, what they call, well, I don't know if they call it that. I know my homie had um, black blue dye. Was it, what was it? Jet black, jet blue. I think it was jet blue. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Seattle police on my right. You see the Seattle police drive through here. They, they already know what it's hitting for. This ain't nothing new, man. Like, come on, man. You got a business called the Burger Master on my right-hand side. Wow, dining in your car. It's a drive through It's kind of like a Sonics, but it looks like an old-fashioned one. Burger Master. And they got a bull head as, like, the logo. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, they already know what's popping off down here, y'all, man. This ain't nothing new. I ain't bringing nothing to light that ain't already have a spotlight shine to it. I'm just the tourist touring the area. 101 auto body on my left. Look at her again. She's still on the corner. The one on my left still on the corner too next to the motorcycle shop. Yeah, if you want to see those females right there, you might have to go and watch part one. Because I did try to do my best to go close to them. I'll possibly do a highlight video. I'm thinking of, I was about to say, I'm finna do a highlight video. <laughs> Some people hate that word finna. Passing North Gateway, passing 105th. I'm contemplating on doing a highlight video of both Figueroa and doing a highlight video of both Aurora and then possibly doing a compare and contrast highlight video in the future. So stay tuned for that. Smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. We're passing 107th. We got Handy Andy rental tool on our left. My mechanic automotive on my left. Now hiring on my right, a Hanson Brothers. See, that's interesting, you know? The females look at it as like, I guess they can make more on the beat rather than working for an entity. Because, you know, you work for an entity, what are you getting, 18, 19 dollars an hour, 20 dollars an hour if you're lucky, 25, 30 if like you're super lucky, you're in some type of union, 40, 50, you gotta be hella lucky. I said H-E-L-L-A, hella lucky, which is a New York term, you know, I believe they were the ones who originated, but you know, they'd be hella lucky, but most of them figure like, why, why get paid nineteen dollars an hour? You know, times eight hours a day, make what, two hundred, a hundred a day or something for all this labor? When the fees, to my knowledge, are anywhere from anywhere, it could be probably as low as you know, one hundred and forty, from what I read in one Reddit forum, to as high as one eighty. I don't know, it might go even higher. I guess it depends on on the uh, the employee and what she decides to charge but it's mind blowing bro it's crazy passing 115th you know they can get a lot more they figure I was um, learning that on one segment that was documenting Figueroa I'm not comparing Figueroa to this but it's a relative subject matter so I know they're two separate areas, two separate states, but just hear me out. This female was mentioning that, you know, her charge is like 50 to 100, 50 for number one, um, 100 for like the full service, right? So, but she gives you a five minute time limit. So whether you complete the task in five minutes or not, the job is over. So what happened was she got pistol whipped and she got robbed because he said that he wasn't finished you know the client i should say said that he wasn't finished and long story short you know basically he took advantage and he never paid her and he pistol whipped her and that's it yep well there's a female right here on my left hand side that just came out the hotel bro she just came out the hotel i wonder what she was up in there up to yo that's messed up a young, petite, African-American young woman. I would say her height is probably 5'3". She looks like she's a good 115, maybe 120, 125 at most. Yeah, 120. She looks like she be 22, 23 maybe, college student. It's messed up, you know? I wonder how many of these females are out here um, working the shifts to pay for work. Oh, snap, look at these over here on my left. They like showing on, yo. I'm gonna make this cool left right here. And I'm going to go right into this parking lot. 
And you guys are about to peep what I'm talking about. Crazy, right? That is crazy. I'm about to spin the parking lot. They're walking in pairs. I guess friends. I guess you could probably get a combo deal. I don't know if you could get a two for one deal. Like, yo, like, can I can I get a discount? Buy buy one, get get one half off. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Let's make this right hand turn. All right, perfect. Yellow light. We're right here. Boom. Y'all about to see them again. Boom shakalaka. Boom. Y'all get to see the attire. Yo, they got boots, bro. They got boots. Both of them got boots. She tatted up. The one is tatted up. Yo, her her um, dress, her skirt keeps going way up. And they keep pulling it down. It keeps going. There's three of them right there, yo. I don't know if the third one is part of the, part of the team or what, but. Well, there you go. Somebody just beeped at them. Yeah, it's real out here, guys. It's real. It's a true story. I mean, this is green screen. This was shot in Tyler Perry Studio in Atlanta, Georgia. It's, like, <laughs> it's crazy because somebody had told me on one of my videos, it was like, fake, CGI. <laughs> he thought that, the, I mean, I know he's probably trying, trying to be funny. You know, he said, fake, CGI. That had me cracking up. Yo, we got somebody else walking over here. Is this the same one? No, this is this is the same one. This is the same one. The petite one at the end, the third one. Oh, she about to walk back. Oh, she about to cross. Oh, the young African American woman that came out the um motel is on my right. Go ahead, cross, lady. Cross. This is the one on my right. Uh no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got this girl. Go ahead, girl. About the there you go. So now y'all got a better view. Wow. Let me make this right because I'm holding up traffic. I'm supposed to make a right on red. Oh, snap. Where did this one come from? What, what are they doing? Like, they renting rooms in the motel? They all popping up out the motels? Where the rest of her clothes go? I'm confused. Is, is, this an, is this an illusion? Is this a mirage? Bro, she out here in the highest thigh high. Bro, she ain't got underwears on. All she got is a see-through fishnet. I'm going to spin the block. I'm going to spin it for y'all. Just for my viewers who care to participate in the viewing experience. <clears throat> Bro, she ain't have any undies on. Just a fishnet skirt. Oh, this is... She came out in part one, too. This one came out in part one right here. crazy let's make this left here I don't want to go any further because uh, there is a uh, cemetery here and there's it's a lot of driving around it's going to take us forever to get around the block so we might as well make a left here There's a sign on my left that reads, Dreams Sold Here. What a heck of an advertisement, right? Dreams Sold Here. Oh, we about to get into a bang out. Skirt, skirt. No, he wasn't going to get into a bang out. He probably in a rush to go over there to 125th and Aurora and cop up. <clears throat> we got the Mekong. Village on our right hand side, which is more authentic cuisine. Yo, I'm telling you, there is probably a dozen to two dozen Vietnamese restaurants along Aurora Avenue. So if you like Vietnamese food, hey, 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 you get yourself some seafood, you get yourself some recreational Mary Jane, you get yourself, uh, you know, you get the whole nine. You feel me? Are you five me? Crazy Furniture on my right-hand side. It's called Crazy Furniture. 
90 days, same as cash, free delivery, local zone. Visit www.crazyfurnitureprices.com. Hablamos Español. <laughs> it means we speak Spanish. I see Anita's Mexican food cart across the street on my left-hand side. Aurora Household Has Site. I think has is short for hazmat. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I like this Euro van in front of us, yo. I I, I like it. It's, it's, it's simple. I like it. I don't like what it would cost to fix it because it's a European and, you know, Europeans cost more to fix. But I like the style. I mean, it's a little beat. It's a little hurt. Got a couple dings and dents. But the style, I like it. I just probably wouldn't pick silver. I would probably pick like a burgundy or like a teal, something different. A red, red will be dope. Red, yeah, red will be fire. Yeah, this one on my left, she's oh, uh, she tripping, bro. Like she tripping. Basically, you might as basically. So she didn't get an addition exposure ticket. She decided to at least put on some see-through fishnet, uh, like thigh high. Um, back in the day, they used to call them. Um, all right, I'm gonna tell y'all what they used to call. Them. They used to call them coochie cutters or booty shorts. Yeah, that was the term. When we were youngsters, I'm gonna make this left here. Oh, there's a couple homies out here. Yo, this block D. Yo, 127th be popping, son. Oh, this is a dead end, bro. This is a dead end. This is a dead end, bro. Yo, the women are never getting traffic. Yo, there's like nine of them out here, bro. This is the 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 open fish market to like the 99th degree times two, to the square power of pi. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out on one block, bro. Come on, traffic. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me up a piece of that Kit Kat fish. I mean, bar. I read 127th and Aurora. Come on, y'all. Y'all drawing. My YouTubers are getting impatient. They're starting to leave. It's your fault. I'm about to get out and like hold like a like a sign. Like, beep, 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 beep. I bet. You ready? Damn, pick your poison, bruh. They got a gel coat products business on my right hand side, right next to the auto body repair. Damn, son, this is crazy. This is wild because if you're not from the area, it's like a completely new experience. Check out, there's an RV right here. Yo, that RV probably be like, you know, craving seafood. <laughs> I don't know, those are like the worst jokes ever, like potty humor. But, you know, sometimes in life, you got to try to make light out of dark situations. It's a dark situation. So it's like, it is what it is. So, peep game. I'm going to do my best to narrate for you. We got a brand new person right here in Royal Blue on my right. Oh, my gosh. Those shoes appear to be 100% uncomfortable. It's like she's walking on, like, pointy, um, sharp tacks and stuff. Oh, my gosh, bro. Why are your shoes so, so pointy? This one on my left look like her shoes don't fit her. They look like they're a size or two bigger. The one on my right look like, like I don't know, like he got some dominatrix shoes. They probably like, oh, he wants some. Because I saw him like three or four times. Boy, pull up. That's a shame, bro. Because, like, if you didn't see them out here, you would think there was nothing. Like, you wouldn't think anything. You wouldn't suspect it. Like, you wouldn't. You don't. Oh, man. I feel. Um, I don't want to say I feel bad, but I'll be concerned for their future husbands. Look at the police are right here. See how the police are right here in front of us. Right in front of us. He didn't pass by. He looked down this block. So 127th and Aurora Ave is a dead end. It pop off here. It pop off. It pop off, y'all. This one on my right got what some men would refer to as a booty do. I don't mean to offend anyone. You know, I got a booty do too. My stomach sit, stick out farther than my booty do. But yeah. It almost looks like they're implants. And it's not like 
like a large tail. Strange, like you know how um, they do the what's what's the injections? What 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 are those injections? The Botox almost. Call me crazy, but yeah, let's make this right hand turn. Then she persistent, bro. They persistent. They walk back and forth like chill. She kept looking. She tried to look through through my soul. Don't be looking at me like that. Look at this one. This is the one that had like the underwears. Well, the see-through underwears. I'm going to let this car pass. I'm going to let you pass, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, my brother. She on the phone. Yo, she got some high heel clear joints. Like the drones from Pit My Ride. The one they put the little fish tank in. Yo, bro, what's up with this? I'm going to bang her right and then I'm going to come right back out just to give y'all the benefit of the doubt, to give y'all like an interesting view. Look, she's talking to the cars. All right, so here's the view that you've been waiting for. She's talking to the cars, y'all. Talking to the cars. Yo, there's another one. Why they keep coming out like super samurai ninjas from cars? Where y'all coming from? All right, bet. All right, bet. So maybe the, the articles wasn't completely false. The articles had mentioned anywhere from 30 to 40 uh, aquatic sea life fishes out at any given time and yeah it's about it's about um accurate i'm gonna go forward i'm gonna spin around the lowe's parking lot and we're gonna exit right out where homegirl was there without any uh undergarments all right let's make this left hand turn oh look at this dog this dog is so provocative She's not wearing any underwears. Look at the way they trimmed her. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I saw a dog like that. Uh, it was a meme. I don't know. Was it a meme or? Oh no, I think it was like a YouTube compilation or something. Anyway, the no, I think it was. Was it a? Was it an Instagram um, story? I don't know what it was. But all I know is that they had shaped up the dog's butt hair to look like a booty. So technically, it looked like the dog had a fatty. <laughs> It looked like the dog had a fatty, bro. Like the dog had butt cheeks. Oh, look at these two right here. So these two, you probably spending like a buck 80. <laughs> you probably spending like a cool 180. Maybe, I don't know. Look at the dog in front of us. You see the little dog, the beagle? The beagle even trying to get some action. Look at the dog. The dog's face is gangster, yo. Yo, why you looking through on my window? Why she looking through my window? You, you, what you, what you, what you, what you trying to hop in, bro? This is a two seater. I can't fit all forty of y'all. They probably like, oh, he from Pennsylvania. He trying to get some action. I saw him a couple times, girl. Look, yo, look at the dog in front of us. The dog backed up. The closer I get, the farther the dog goes. Look, 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 look. The dog's scared, yo. The dog got far, yo. Don't be punking out, doggy. He's like, come on, you blocking my view. That's crazy, y'all. That's wild. <laughs> That's mad wild, brothers and sisters and viewers of the World Wide Web. Super wild. Speaking of that, let me turn on the air conditioner because it's getting hot in here. Look at my right. Oh, she's so teeny weeny. Bro, she's like a whole like a whole 95 pounds. And she was like 4'9". So they got them slim, they got them tall, they got them large, they got them all. Brown, light, pink or white. <laughs> Yo, I swear they keep on coming out like a glitch from this motel. What's up with this motel? Does motel know something that we don't know? Wow, that's incredible. Unless they come out with their clients there, you know what I mean? The client says, let's go to the motel. And then they go to the motel. You, you feel me? It makes sense, right? So I guess the motels capitalize off the business too. Sad enough to say. The motels make money off of it. All right, let's continue taking this down to about 100. And if we don't see no activity, then I think we will conclude part two. I don't know. I should hit y'all with a part three, right? How many of y'all think I should hit y'all with a part three? Yeah, if you want to see if I'm going to hit you with a part three, you might want to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Smash that thumbs up button. Y'all greatly appreciate it. All right, we're passing 115th. We got a female on my right-hand side waiting for the bus stop. So I'll be honest with y'all. You want me to keep it a bean? You want me to keep it a honey? I got you. First impressions, Aurora versus Figueroa. Aurora's more popping. 
is more popping. Because Figueroa, although we did see about a dozen uh, staff members walking the streets on both sides, it was more scattered, it was more dispersed, and it took a little bit longer to get to each one. Here, it was a little bit more dense, it was a little bit more, and at that one point, that one block right there looked crazy. With all eight or nine of them, or I can't say all of them, because they kept jumping out everywhere like little animations, like, yeah, this might be a CGI animated video. Yo, Tyler Perry, why you tripping on my video, bro? You ain't, you ain't tell me that you was gonna add them in, man. You ain't, you ain't tell me you was gonna put the cheat code up, down, left, right, square, circle, square, circle, triangle, R1, R2. All right, um, passing 103rd. Look at the dog on my left. Remember the dog from the Tesla? His owner was looking at me like, what, what you doing to my dog, brother? Yo, she's still on my right. Bro, like, she obviously doesn't want to be associated. She's like, dang, this little teeny weeny car again. She obviously doesn't want to be associated with uh, the group up the block because she's by herself. She's a lone warrior. Maybe it'll affect her income. You know what I mean? Probably affect the income. You got more competition. Like, when you're on that block with nine different flavors, it's like, do I want cherry? Do I want lemon? Do I want grape? Uh, I think I'll take rainbow. You know what I mean? I'm so tempted to just smash this right-hand turn. <laughs> But I'm like, I'm gonna I'm I'm give you a push forward. We had 101st and Aurora. So this one right here be posted up at 101st and Aurora, right across from IHOP. If you're interested in giving her any work, now she looks younger. I'm looking at her, she looks even younger. She looks at 18, 18, 19. Yeah, if anybody's interested in hiring someone for some work, hey, you already know. Now we're passing 100th. She was on 101. Smoothies on our right, and you can get a smoothie while you're at it. Look, they got auto care across you. You get an oil change. You go across you to the motel, man. Passing 97. Let's take this down a couple blocks. We're passing 96. Let's take this like 80th, 88. Let's give this the benefit of the doubt to see if any more people pop out. Pass a 94th public scales. Damn, you could go way to shorty and all that. You'd be like, yo, what's your weight? Where are you 130? Nah, let's go up the block. Let's see. Oh, bet. No, you 133. You was lying. You was trying to shave off three pounds. Pass a 92nd. Toyota. I like that little strange foreign truck on my right hand side. It got yellow amber fog lights. That's dope. Oh, they're from Japan. Oh, snap. They right hand drive. Yeah, they're right hand drive. Those red Toyotas on my right hand side, they're right hand drive. That's neat. Oh, snap. All these vehicles are right hand drive. There's a van over here that's right hand drive. Yo. Holla at your boy. I love right hand drive whips, yo. Oh, they got a Mitsubishi. What's that? Uh. What do you call that? A Montero. Mitsubishi. You see that white Montero next to the Toyota? Right hand drive. No wonder why I got the JDM Amber Lights. Japanese domestic market. That's what JDM means. Japanese domestic market. We're passing 91st. JDM is Japanese domestic market. USDM is United States domestic market. We're passing 90th. EDM is European domestic market. So when they release a car, they'll release them for three different markets. We're passing 89th. Or sometimes they don't release them in all markets. Or in some markets, they'll get special trimmings or add-ons or parts that you won't get in another market. We're passing 88th. Hence why I remember I was talking to Leisure. Leisure was like, um, hey, too, remember we saw that. Um, you remember, remember, Leisure? We saw that. We're passing 87th in Aurora. We saw that. CRV, the first gen like I had, that had the JDM mirror in the front, the Japanese domestic market mirror. They, there you go. That's a good example. Our USDM, United States domestic market, means the CRVs that were, in, in layman's terms, the CRVs, yo, blue, right in front of us. The tags say BL, H O O O O O. Blue ho, blue ho. Anyway, so yeah, um, our United States Japanese cars didn't come with certain. You know options that may be a Japanese domestic market car in Japan that they released over there in the same year. You know what I mean? In the showroom, 
and the same would apply for EDM, the European, for example, like my EF Civic, you got the United States interiors, you got the Japanese interiors, and you got the European interiors. The European interior looks dope, but you can't find that here in America unless you spend an arm and a leg, or to some people it might be an arm and a leg, to wealthy it might be pennies, but you spend an arm and a leg, you know, 1400, 1500, 2500 just to ship the interior, which is just four seats over to America. Or if you like, let's say you want a front end from Japan, the front end of the car, right? Let's say you buy yourself a cool little 1988 Honda Civic. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a 33, 34-year-old car. You know, fourth-generation Honda Civic. You get a sedan, hatchback, whatever, right? It's an old car. In America, you could probably get one depending on the mileage. As low as, I've seen them shells, three, 400, but let's say running as low as $1,000. A high-end one with good mileage, a special trim, SI or something, maybe $3,500, $4,500, $5,000. Depends. You know what I mean? They might even be going higher because I seen them sell in auctions with super low miles for thirty, forty thousand dollars. Believe it or not. But now you could buy a, real, a cool, simple one for probably a thousand dollars, right? Passing eighty fifth. But it'll have the regular United States front end. Now, if you wanted the front end from Japan for the EF nine, in Japan you gotta order it to get it shipped to America. You're talking about thirty five hundred to forty five hundred just to get the front bumper, the front headlights, the front fenders, and the hood. And the bumper support and the fog is shipped to your house in America. So you damn near spend close to three to four grand just for the front end to have it look like the cars that are in Japan. Now, why you may ask, why are we so crazy, you know, about the Japanese market? Hey, it looks cooler, man. It's cool to have those little details, you know, have those little, you know, accessories and, 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 and trims that the people here in America that don't have. So at the time when I was in Philly, with that fender mirror, that JDM fender mirror, and I had the rear um, blind spot mirror, like the reverse mirror, and you know, I had a little accessories in the trimmings. I was ordering them from like the Netherlands. I ordered something from from um, New Zealand. I ordered from where? Lithuania. From Lithuania. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I ordered my rear EDM European domestic market bumper lights, fog lights that are in my EF Civic that I installed myself from Lithuania and I had to wait like two to three months you know what I mean because it goes over the shipping containers and so on so that's just a little bit of knowledge um, I'm a huge fan of the 1988 through 1991 trim of Honda Civic mainly a lot of Hondas but Honda Civic in specific CRX Civic sedan and hatchback that's my number one car right there I don't care you could put a Lamborghini in front of me or you could matter of fact I ain't even on fraud I was gonna say you could put a Lamborghini in front of me or put a, a right-hand drive EF9 in front of me, which one would I take? I ain't gonna fraud. I'll take the Lamborghini, I'll sell it, and I'll go buy me 100 EF9s. <laughs> Not the answer you was expecting, right? But that's just because I'm, you know, I'm a Honda person. I'm a Honda person to the day I D I E. And speaking of D I E, look at this female right here on my right hand side. Is she participating in the festivities? We're on 80th and Aurora. No, 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 no. My bad, my bad, ma'am. I don't mean to get you mixed up. She looks like a jogger or something. We're passing 79th, passing 78th, quality auto glass, 78th, royalty cuts on our left, Juan barbecue, the dollhouse beauty part on our right, passing 77th. So it looks as we continue to go down in numbers and we descend, we're passing 76, laptop recyclers and all of that stuff computer recycling yeah as we descend I don't see as much activity down here bunch of lawnmowers Duck Island cafe on my right Leggett pasta and pub on my right Shell gas station on our left four dollars and 99 cents per gallon now Aurora is getting squiggly Aurora was pretty straightforward where we were at and now it's like squiggly as you can see oh snap and we're next to water on my left hand side we're next to water we're at 70th and Aurora, and we're next to water. And it doesn't seem like any of that is going to take place down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Um, it doesn't look like any of that is down here. I see a female jogger on my left, but yeah, she's just a jogger. That's the thing. Like, when you're on these streets and you're a female, you got to be careful where you walk. <laughs> be very careful where you walk. So I'm going to read an article. You ready? I'm going to read an article by comonews.com. 
The world's oldest profession is thriving in North Seattle along Aurora Avenue amid protests by frustrated neighbors and business owners who insist that their calls for help to the Seattle City Hall and Seattle Police Department are falling on deaf ears. See that? That's crazy, right? So it's interesting how they say, that's crazy. You, The oldest profession. But I guess if you think about Moulin Rouge, um, oh, I don't even remember the song. How's it go? Um, Gitchy, Gitchy, ya, ya, right? Because they were basically Moulin Rouge. That was like, 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 a, like a brothel house. Is that the correct term? You know, like the bunny ranch, you know, like a, like a brothel house. You would go and you would pick your poison. You know what I mean? You do what you got to do and that's it. Pay your due and be out. Past the 60th. I guess it probably was, you know, one of the oldest professions, you know. There's a lot of things in the past that were accepted that in modern days are frowned on. So many things. There's so many taboo subjects that are part of today's society that 100 years ago, it was completely fine. Yep. 100 years ago, 200 years ago, three, 400 years ago, pfft, yeah, right. There was nothing wrong with it. But now it's like people look at you sideways. All right, we are at 50th. 50th and Aurora. And yeah, as we have confirmed, it doesn't appear to be any more workers out here. Passing 47th, passing 46th. Yeah, so let me know how many females will participate in the male version of Aurora slash Fig Street. Because, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Your homeboy, Tony Maguni, might have to holler at a couple of my homies and open up the first strip in North Philly so the ladies can come check it out. It's like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're like, Tune, come on, man. We don't want none of them hood rats. Passing 42nd Street. Visitors to the area will usually be faced with several scantity clad women who parade up and down the street in broad daylight, ensuring that potential customers know that they are available. We were rat. We witnessed that. They waved. She was just waving at this car like, lady, nobody is waving at you. Nobody was waving at you. You just trying to get some attention. It'd be interesting to an extent. I mean, I think there's channels focused on that, so I'm not gonna focus on that. Don't don't be like, tune, go go and do that. Don't go and start interviewing these girls. Nah, nah, nah. Time is money, and I'm not trying to pay them no money for their time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to get. That's a different niche. Like, I'm not here to put them on blast like that. But I know there are channels out there that do focus on picking up. They'll pick up the ones who are willing to talk, and they'll you know talk about their story. And it's intriguing. Some of them been through, a lot of them been through the foster care system. A lot of them been disowned by their family. Um, there was one story that I heard, which was crazy. She was in a church household her whole life. Her family was super strict, and she ended up out there on the run in Fig Street, which is crazy. So a lot of these girls have interesting stories. Like, you know, I wonder, like, how many are in college? You know, like, how many are mothers? You know what I mean? Like, how many of them got kids and, you know, supposedly... Or I guess not supposedly. If you got a kid, then you're doing it to take care of you and your kid. But, you know, that'll be the the reason, you know? It's crazy, yo. Super crazy. You know, I wonder how many of them are from here and then their family drive by and see them, right? Like, that's crazy. Like, how many of them are 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 uh, Seattle natives? Like, like, that's crazy, right? Like, you was once a nine-year-old fish in elementary school. And then you ended up a 21-year-old, you know, you was a guppy, right? <laughs> you was a little guppy. And now you're a full-blown flounder and you're just out here, out and about. A lot of graffiti on my right-hand side. Check this out. Wow. Let me exit right here because I believe we are approaching a toll tunnel. Yeah, so y'all got a chance to see a little bit of Aurora, you know? You got a chance to see it? 
Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. You might get lucky. You might get a uh, part three from your boy, too.